What's up Sagittarius? This is gonna be a love forecast for the second half of February. This is for my Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you are new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you wanna keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you wanna follow me over there, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of February. Any love messages for my Saggy, Saggy Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of February. Chariot card, beautiful. Okay, Eight of Cups in the reverse. Uh, Empress card, nice. Okay, the Judgment card in the reverse. The Ten of Wands in the reverse with the Nine of Cups and the King of Wands. Saggy, someone is either not ready to walk away or is returning, basically, because the Eight of Cups in the reverse can be the, the return. Um, a Chariot card is about movement forward, positive movement forward. Some of you are dealing with a person that you're at a distance from, like geographically. Um, the Empress card here is about growth and expansion. So someone could be moving towards you. Maybe you have taken distance or, you know, it's sort of unfinished. Someone could be returning um, because they're sort of seeing you as someone that they want to grow and expand with. Now we've got a King of Wands here. So that could be, you know, you, Saggy, in a masculine type of energy. Um, King of Wands is an action forward king. The thing is, right, we've got the Karma card, the Judgment card in the reverse. So... The judgment cards that come back around. Um, but in the reverse, I don't know, this is something about you maybe being indecisive or um, not really using your judgment. Okay? Maybe you feel like there's a situation that's calling for you to use your judgment um, and you're just like, I don't know, you haven't been able to make a decision in this situation. I mean, King of Wands. So this could be also be someone taking action towards you, Sag, and it's like, I don't know, should I move on and move forward or should I give this another chance? Do you see what I'm saying? So the Ten of Wands in the reverse is someone that wants to get to an end of a burdensome cycle. They want to let go of the burdens. You could also feel weighed down by this situation, Saj, where you're like, I'm done, this is very burdensome or I've been carrying too much weight in this situation and maybe you did kind of just drop the burdens and take the distance from this person. Um, but they're moving towards you because I think that there's this sense of you being very much like a fulfillment for them, Nine of Cups. Um, but maybe you're also taking action towards your Nine of Cups, like what really fulfills you and makes you happy. Let me get a little bit more on this Eight of Cups. I mean, the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. So Eight of Cups is usually when we walk away from something and Nine of Cups is what makes us happy. Now the Eight of Cups is in the reverse. So it's like someone's not walked away or someone is returning. And now the question is, does this line up for with my Nine of Cups? You get what I'm saying? Um, let's have a look at the Eight of Cups. Knight of Wands. Someone's swooping back in, Sag. Um, if you've had sort of an on-off hot-cold situation with the person, they are swooping back in again. They're very hot for you, as in at least um, from a chemistry level, they have a lot of attraction when it comes to you. Um, but you are coming up like an Empress Sag. So this is like, you know, you're in your divine energy, your divine feminine, not gender specific, but you're very much sort of standing in your power. You're very much like radiating, um, you know, that self-love kind of an energy. So if you felt like someone was a bit selfish, because Nine of Cups, you know, and Knight of Wands sort of energy, you could have been dealing with someone that was a bit, I don't know, self, self, selfish, self-fulfilling. Um, maybe even someone that likes to party or drink, I'm just saying. Um, they are swooping back in. They're seeing you as the Empress, so I think that they do have this intention to actually move things in a better direction. And they see you as someone that they really, like, they want to move ahead with. Like, Empress card is the wife, the mother, kind of an energy or the long-term partner okay so yeah there's a ten of pentacles but it's in the reverse so some of you um if you were in a commitment with this person it's like this has kind of fallen apart um and you have taken a step back or for others of you this in and out sort of unstable energy sort of made you rethink whether or not this is someone that you could build that long-term vision with like you know you just sort of maybe decided that that's not in alignment with 
with your Ten of Pentacles, that behavior. Um, exactly, Three of Swords. So there's a separation here. There's some kind of hurt feelings between you and this person or a separation. They want to come out of separation though. As I said, I think that they are coming back in because um, they are missing this Empress energy and the Four of Wands and the Temperance card. So they want to heal things with you and they want to recreate something stable, Four of Wands. So this is marriage long-term commitments. Um, now, if you didn't have that, that's what they're coming in to offer you. Um, and if you did have that, they want to recreate that, okay? It's like maybe you did, you were trying to build that with someone, but it seems like they weren't in the right stable place to actually build that with you. So maybe they're coming in now saying, Look, let's move this in a better direction, chariot card. You could be, like I said, at a distance from this person. So this could be someone saying, let's, let's plan a trip or let me travel towards you. We've got Cancer Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, Libra, um, and Scorpio and Sagittarius with a temperance card. There's something about healing here and balance. So um, I think they want to heal something with you. This could have been testing your patience, to be honest, Sag. Temperance card is about patience and time and things feeling a little slow. And Eight of Swords is you, it's in the reverse. So I feel like there's this real sense of you're almost, you felt trapped for quite a while by this situation and you want to break free or you've been in that energy of just breaking free of what restricts you or confines you. Um, but let me get a bit more specifically on this person because I feel like there's a decision to make. Maybe you're not going to be deciding when they come back in. Maybe you're not ready to. Um, you know, you want to maybe still take some time to tap into your judgment, right? To get a better idea of what's going to be good for you. Yeah, we've got the justice card. I mean, this person's coming back in to make something right and balanced with you. Marriage and divorce could be a factor with that justice card, Libra energy. Let's see, what is this person offering Sag now in the second half of February? I just saw the Ten of Pentacles in the upright Sag. So maybe they're coming in to tell you that, no, they are the one that they're going to offer you that Ten of Pentacles. They want to offer you that stable uh, future vision. King of Pentacles, stable king. So they want to show you they're loyal, committed. They have a plan for the future. Um, Knight of Wands, they're definitely sweeping back in, Sag, with a lot of passion, okay? Page of Swords, and they're analyzing the situation heavy. So if you've taken distance, they're watching you. Page of Swords is analysis. They could be watching you online, watching your social media, going through old text messages, scrutinizing the situation. Um, Page of Swords is also communication. So I think they're coming in to communicate. They want to say something to you. Knight of Pentacles, they want to work slowly and steadily towards whatever the goal is. Again, you could have known this person for a while. You could have been connected to this person for a while. It's very slow energy. You know, two knights, Knight of Wands is very fast with the passion. Knight of Pentacles does actually have that sort of sense of putting in effort and work. It is that it's the best of the knights, but it's a bit slow um, to give you what you really desire and want in terms of stability, if that's your goal. So their intention is to give that to you. It's just that maybe it's been a long road to kind of get what you're looking for. Um, maybe that's why you're just a bit tired and a bit over it. <laughs> but their intention is to do that. And we have an eight of pentacles in the reverse with a nine of cups again. So they sense that you, you no longer want to put in the effort. Um, but they, I feel they do. They want to put in the effort with you. With the Eight of Pentacles here, um, they see that you make them very happy. Maybe this person um, is, you know, what I'm getting, Sag with that Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, maybe this person is neglecting to do the work on themselves, okay? Eight of Pentacles is self-mastery as well. So when we're talking about spirituality, it could be that they have to work on some stuff within themselves, um, which, could, you know, because I'm getting nine of cups again. So this person, maybe they like to have fun. They like to drink or whatever. Um, and maybe that's just a distraction from what they need to do, like the work on themselves. Um, but I do feel like I said, they're coming in like they want to show you that they're king of pentacles, that they're committed, that they're loyal. Um, they feel like, you know, you're not putting in the effort anymore. And I think they want to try to save it or try to like get on the same page, you know? Let me see another one on that Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, Eight of Wands, okay. Um, so they are coming in to communicate. 
maybe you stop communicating with them as well, Sag. So, you know, they're feeling that. They're feeling like you pull back and stop making an effort with them. And then the King of Wands, okay. So they are taking the action. They're still very attracted to you. They are coming in to have a conversation with you. Um, lots of passion. And I think they wanna show you their intention is actually to build something stable. It'll be up to you what you wanna do. Hermit card, yeah, they've, they've been taking some distance or they feel your distance and maybe they have been trying to get some answers from within, do some soul searching um, about the situation. And Three of Pentacles, maybe they've also been getting some outside help out with the Three of Pentacles. That's about, you know, support. Um, but it's also about cooperation. So, but there's a lot of focus here on pentacles and wands. And my concern here, Sag, is like, there's not a lot of cups. So maybe you're lacking that emotional connection. I mean, the nine of cups is emotional. That's the only cups card, but it's really more about fun and, and fulfillment. Like uh, it can be a bit of that just enjoyment, like pleasure. It's not necessarily that deeper emotional connection. As I said, I've got an ace of wands. So this person is very hot for you, Sag. They're coming in to reignite passion. That's my sex card. And they sense that your biggest concern is that they're not maybe stable enough in the material. But I feel, Sag, that maybe your concern is that you're lacking the emotional fulfillment. I don't know, because Empress is open and receptive to love and she's looking for that balanced reciprocal kind of flow with love. Okay, anyway, um, let's get you guys a Mystic Black Rose. Um, jealousy, oh, interesting, okay. Is this person maybe a bit inconsistent or unstable, but also a bit possessive? Maybe they feel like you're moving on to other options. Or maybe you felt like this person was playing around and there was some jealousy. Let's have a look. So divorce, legal matters. Some of you, yeah, this is like a, a marriage or a long-term commitment and there's legal matters or legal matters are at play. Like maybe this person's a bit unstable and there's been some legal issues. Okay, so there is love, Sag. Maybe this person has trouble actually showing that, but it seems to be that there's love here. I mean, maybe you feel like you've given a lot of love and you don't get that sort of level of reciprocity. Um, we do have single, independent, freedom from attachment available to date, which I think is your energy, Sag. You've just been feeling like maybe you just wanna break free. Um, but then I've got pursuit. Hunting, chasing, resilient. I think this person is still, they're gonna come in, they're chasing you um, with all this quick energy, the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the King of Wands, um, fired up, explosion of emotions, fuming with rage, angry. Maybe they also have some um, anger issues, Saji, or you've had a lot of arguments with this person, right? Like intense emotions, a lot of passion here, right? Um, drama, overreacting. Thirsty for attention, creating problems, emotions, up and down, unpredictable. Yeah, there's just something that's very unstable here. Saji, lust. I did say that they're very attracted to you. There's a lot of sexual energy here. It says sexual energy. Okay. Um, and what else? Soulmates. So there is a soul connection here, but I also think that, you know, maybe you're feeling like you want to open yourself up to something else or maybe you feel that you will take it back but it, there's a lot of effort here that needs to be made lost running away emptiness feeling invisible cutting off um i feel like they're feeling lost without you sag because you pulled back and that's why they're sort of chasing and you know swooping back in ascending learning transcending, new phase. So yeah, okay, so there are learnings wrapped up in this. With, you know, the Hermit card, I do feel like they, they are starting to get some revelation around things that they need to change. I also think that you might be feeling like, you know, transcending, like maybe you feel you've learned what you needed to learn here because you are coming up in this Empress energy. So it seems that something here was necessary to teach you something about yourself, to elevate you. And um, yeah. They're not really coming in as an emperor, but you know, up to you, Sag. <laughs> I don't tell you what to do. All right, I hope that resonated for you, Saggy. Um, and if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.